it's the 17th of October uh, 2021 and I just mowed this field here uh, on Friday just two days ago and there was about six five six inches of grass on it was the third cut and it had got now all this has got over the year is about 10 kilos of 10 10 20 and what I would consider a good supply of farmyard manure so um, we receded this part over here uh, in the spring and it has thickened up pretty well um, probably want to thicken it a little bit more with some extra seed in the springtime um, now the plan over the next year for the farm is to try and increase the amount of herbage um, both for grazing and for fodder by at least 10% and that's without the uh, use of high inputs. So the plan is to use this field as a sort of a model over the next few months and into the spring of how we might achieve that. So <clears throat> it's um, probably got about two inches of grass or an inch and a half in spots because it's not easy to cut that sort of grass with the rotary but what I intend to do is first of all I can't mold plough this field really because there's water mains going up through it in different places and I, I'd be afraid I'd rip them so it's adequately dry for the time of year it's uh, not one of the best fields I have but it's certainly not one of the worst so what my plan is to do is first of all to mow this with a ride on lawnmower mow it down pretty low for the winter to allow air and light down to help <coughs> tiller the grass over the winter so after that's been done i have um some granulated gromax line so i intend to apply about a hundred maybe 50 kilos um of lime to that now the next few weeks and again in the spring and um, to allow it time to be absorbed and to get into the soil and start working in the soil I then intend in the spring to put <clears throat> a measured amount in tonnage of well-rotted farmyard manure. I have some good well-rotted farmyard manure and I'm going to spread that liberally over this in the spring. And then I'm going to look at the sort of areas that are weakest in it in the springtime. Like for example, you have spots where you'd have particularly the reseed where there's a lot of gaps. You can see spots in it where you could easily add in another kilo or two of seed like that there and once that's done I mean if you could get even 5% increase in forage from that alone the improvement that will come about with the application of the lime with the fact that topping and mowing it would help to reduce the, the, the weed burden in it as well and also encourage tillering of grass and the farmyard manure and the lime I think this could be the sort of standard I could use for the rest of the farm, depending on how this works out for me. But this is the plan. Now for the other fields, uh, I intend to do something a little bit more intensive, um, starting with mole ploughing. Uh, and I suppose the, the three-pronged approach would be mole ploughing, topping, and application of lime. Uh, again, older pasture, you wouldn't have a lot of space between the grasses for to reseed weaker spots because it's pretty well established but any place where for example I had manure top dressing and that area is now bare ground you could say I intend to, to reseed that with uh, my usual native uh, clover rich um, grass mixes and bit by bit over time by following that you could take on the grass you could improve the grass quality, reduce the weed burden, and with a small application then of something like 10, 10, 20, or even a potato manure, which is only 7% nitrogen, because um, probably doesn't need that much nitrogen. It's more pea it would need on account of it being grazed, on account of it being taken in as fodder crop. So something like that applied at the correct time of the year and applied at a moderate rate would definitely improve the volume and the quantity uh, or the quality of the stuff um, that's, that's got off it. So that's the plan. I have to work through um, how I'm going to apply this to each individual field from now until the spring, and then we'll, we'll have a go at it and see how it goes.